Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlShades.com. Today we're gonna talk about the kind of girls that you need to shoo shoo out of your fucking life because they're toxic for you. This topic has been brought up uh, by my own experiences and some experiences of some friends lately, especially those friends who are good with girls and they have a lot of girls in their life. And they're starting to observe something that I'm observing. I've obviously always been aware of toxic pe people versus um, healthy people. Uh, I've been more aware of it when it comes to men. Uh, when it comes to women, um, I'm kind of a horn dog and I'm kind of a just wanna fuck and just get as much experience as possible and see every you know dark avenue of this life. And so I've allowed some women for a long time in my life who probably weren't the best for me. Um, maybe they were really hot and they fucked really good, but they were just really toxic people. Uh, but I'm starting to really, really take care, um, even to a almost pedantic degree, of who is, you know, taking up every sentence of my life. You know, if one girl just creates a little bit of too much turmoil, or too much um, conflict, toxicity, whatever, I'm starting to, yes, get out, you know? And there's a reason why a lot of guys have issues in their life with dating. And I think a lot of it, some of it comes from our own mental models, but I think a lot of the problems that we're encountering has to do with the women that we are allowing to be around us. Because even with just sex, um, what you put your, what you poke, what you put, what you poke. Yes, there we go. What you poke with your dick, uh, it's gonna affect you. It's, it's. I don't know if there's a transfer going on in some level, but it's probably mostly just you, you fuck with them and then you know you spend more time with them and then their toxicity gets to you. But I believe there's some sort of transfer going on too when you fuck someone. Um, I think you should still fuck that really hot girl, even though she's a crazy piece of shit. Uh, make sure you save text messages and you make sure she doesn't go crazy on you and you know you have proof and stuff. But uh, I would say that for the most part, you shouldn't allow anyone in your life who isn't um, contributing to it. You know, maybe if they're just kind of eh, you should still kick them out. I want to avoid anyone who's just meh or toxic, but we're going to focus on toxic behaviors in this video. So what are the kind of women that you should keep out of your life? Maybe we can fuck them, right? Like I said, we're kind of savages, right? Even if she's a piece of shit or she's a gold digger, or, you know, whatever thing that is going to make you go, ah, oh, fuck that bitch, why don't you just fuck her, you know? What do you lose? You just fuck them once, get her out. Now, there's some extreme situations that if they're really fucking crazy, okay. You need to you need to avoid them, but we can uh, we can save you a lot of headaches and a lot of um, just a lot of shit, just a lot of shit. So let's get rid of girls who are drinking a lot and a lot of drugs. If they're out every fucking weekend getting shit faced, if they're doing Molly every weekend, going to a festival every weekend. Maybe you can get into the weed debate, but I would put weed on the same level as drinking. If they're smoking weed every fucking day, all the time, you know, you can give me whatever excuse you want. And I'm, I've probably smoked as much of you as you, and I probably drank a lot more than you. Um, and I've done a lot more of the things. When you are involved in these environments, there can be good people, but the vast majority of people that you're going to meet in these environments of drinking and drugs usually are heinous pieces of shit. Just horrible, horrible people. There's nothing inherently wrong with drinking or doing drugs, but the people who are really abusing these substances tend to have not the most healthy of lives otherwise. Now, there can be exceptions, right? Some people, well, I'm a good person and I drink a Okay, I get it, you're great. But there's a lot of people who are just really, really bad. And also, a person could be pretty normal when they're normal, but put them on one of these and they're gonna start to act really erratic. So let's say you, you hook up with this really hot fucking party girl. She's getting shit faced every weekend, but you know, you met, you had this amazing sex and then you keep fucking, right? Everything's fine. That's the thing with these girls. Let me, let me point this out. These girls who are gonna have the following behaviors are great. They're so much fun. They're exciting. They're funny. They're charismatic because these girls who tend to abuse these things or have these personalities, they tend to be quite seductive, right? There's a few of them who are just shitty all around, but they can be quite fucking seductive. But with these girls, when you are having a good time with them, it's a good time. But when you're having a bad time with them, maybe the first two times you hooked up with that party girl was great. But then this weekend you're hooking up and she just fucking starts acting like a crazy fucking bitch. She just gets blackout drunk and she's like, 
starts crying about some random shit. She's fucking remembering something bad that happened. She gets in a fight with her best friend and she's fucking screaming. She gets in a fucking random screaming fight with a homeless person who's seen this shit. Like some homeless woman just said something to her and she went, I was like, girl, you are so beautiful and you have such an amazing ass, but holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with you? I still wanted to fuck her after, you know, cause I'm a fucking savage, but <laughs> my attraction for her outside of that went way down. Okay. So drinking drugs, you're just going to have bad times. When things are good, things are great. When they're going bad, they're really bad. Let's just say negative. Okay. They're always fucking down about something. You're always fucking complaining. Something is always wrong. Every time you talk to them, you feel like your soul is just being dragged into the fucking abyss. And you're like, oh my God, is this really worth it? And then you look at their ass and they're like, yes, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> this guy likes to think for himself. But uh, I mean, you can fuck them. And it's, a lot of times, really negative girls can have some really rough sex because they just want to get like fucking, you know, crazy because they want to they wanna make up for all that negativity, you know, and turn it into, into positivity. And they usually like really rough sex. And so it can be a lot of fun, but you shouldn't be spending a lot of time with them. And after one or two fucks, you should be like, Meh. let's move on. Status. And also, a similar one is attention seekers. So status assess. These are the girls that are unfortunately going to be some of the hottest. Um, and they are really hot because they know that being super hot can get them status, right? So what did the super high value guys want? They want super hot girls. That's usually why they're getting the high status. That's most of the motivation behind being popular or rich or successful is you want to get the super hot girls. So those super hot girls, knowing that their amazing ass and amazing body or gorgeous face or great fashion sense is going to get them to the high status circles because they don't have anything else. Um, or they do have something else. They have a skill, they have a hobby or they have a profession that lands them in these really high status social circles. But even though they're super hot, um, they tend to be pretty toxic people. There's nothing wrong with um, being careful with who you're surrounded with and not being around low value people. I agree with that. You shouldn't hang around losers, but there's a, another level to it where you are, um, getting rid of old friends who have been good people and supported you and been loyal to you simply because they're not really fitting your image. Uh, and so when you're dealing with status girls, um, you can have girls who in private, they really like you, but then you see them in public and they're going to act like they don't even know you. Um, or if you, uh, or with them in public and maybe you do something a little bit lame or something a little bit, um, embarrassing, or you're not the coolest guy in the room, they're actually going to distance themselves from you. And so this is going to make you feel like shit. And you shouldn't be around people who make you feel like shit. You should be around people who lift you up. And there's a lot of people in this world who are super high value celebrities, like really fucking successful people who are amazing to be around. Cause when you're around them, they want to bring you up because they don't see any benefit in bringing you down. So in my experience, being around a decent amount of very, very successful and popular and famous people, uh, what you want to do is avoid this type of behavior because there are people out there who can have, that status and that value, which is attractive. So there's nothing wrong with going after status and going after value, but there's a level of obsession with it that you start to become really shitty to the people around you who aren't fitting your perfect image. And the problem with being with those girls is it's going to create an addiction where you're going to be really attracted to them because not only are they smoking fucking hot, but they're really cool and they're really famous or they're really popular or they're just have amazing social skills. So they have cool circles and you're attracted to them. But if you try to spend time with them, they're going to be really ruthless around you. And again, maybe there's some selfish behavior on your part. You're trying to get into their circle. So maybe you deserve that, that, that selfish cutthroat behavior. But at the same time, you want to avoid that line crossing, almost malicious level of status obsession. So you want to avoid the girls who are too focused on status. Usually you're going to get these girls who have the high follower accounts on social media. Um, I've met some girls who are pretty, pretty cool, you know, and they're great. They were gorgeous. Um, and, and maybe they saw you as a, as a growing figure, but the moment that you, I don't know, make an error when it comes to your, your reputation and you make a mistake, they just totally disappear. And you're like, Oh, you know, I thought you were kind of a genuine person, but now that I'm not like the right person, you know, to be associated with, you're gonna, you're gonna disassociate with me. 
um, that's really shitty behavior because you should be around someone because of their value to your life, you know, and because their value solely re re uh, revolves around their social status, as soon as you're not useful to them, you're gone. So attention seekers, same shit. They're usually going to be similar girls, but attention seekers can also be low value girls, but they're going to be abusing you for your attention and they're going to be uh, wasting your time because it's okay for you to want sex, right? Uh, and, it's, and it's okay for them to want attention. There's nothing, there's nothing inherently wrong with this stuff, but it's the behaviors and the effect on your life that follows it and the consequences of spending too much time around these girls that is going to hurt you in the long run. Uh, so if you find a girl who's really obsessed with attention, um, she's spending way too much time on the social, on the, on the social media. <laughs> it's not like a fucking grandpa. You need to get off the social media. It's really dangerous to the, you know, the climate of, of mental health. Okay. <laughs> you want to avoid the girls who are just way too obsessed with, with getting attention over social media uh, because they're usually going to have the same behavior as these girls. They're really fun. They're really cool when you're talking to them. But if you're not going to fit their agenda, you're gone. And again, that's their right to do that, but it's not healthy for you. Now, I want you to avoid these kind of girls. Girls who are obsessed with you. Girls who are way too into you. A girl who is too obsessed with you, she's obsessed with you because she's basically using you like a drug. You are so high value that she's just like, I must cling to you and hold you uh, with every fiber of my being because if I lose you, I'm going to be nothing, right? I talked about you shouldn't hang around people who are too worried about their status. But at the same time, there is a such thing as value. So when I say high value, low value, I don't necessarily mean this person's popular, this person's not. What I'm saying is, does this person's behavior, do, does their humor, does their, their charisma, does their kindness, their courage, their perseverance, their, uh, their, their passions, their intellect, like, or their looks, right? Do, is there something in their life that adds to your life? Because there's a such thing as good selfishness, right? You can choose who to have around you that's a positive influence on you. And while these people have every right to be obsessed with what they're obsessed with and treat you how they want to treat you, you need to do what's best for you, okay? So if you find someone who's obsessed with you, that might mean that it's not that they're too low value, it's that their behavior is simply just not healthy. It's gonna make you feel good at first to have someone obsessed with you then you're going to realize that it's it's not what it's cracked up to be and it's a lot of responsibility to to have that emotional control over someone so if you have a girl who is just way too obsessed with you it can create some not sometimes scary you know where girls are fucking keying your car they're knocking on your door they're stalking you they're you know they're spreading rumors about you you know just really fucking crazy behaviors uh, I would suggest avoiding these girls. Now the sex is going to be great because she's going to fucking, you know, she's going to be like, just do whatever you want to me. That's going to be, it's so fucking hot. But um, beyond that, you might want to avoid fucking these girls. It'll be super hot, but you might want to avoid it because once you do fuck them, they're going to be like double obsessed with you. But they're probably obsessed with you because you fuck them. So you might want to avoid those girls. And then lastly, inconsistent. They're inconsistent. So I want to be very careful here. I don't want to target any specific demographic. What I want to do is I want to point out unhealthy behaviors and inconsistent behavior is some unhealthy behaviors that are going to hurt your life. If you don't know what behaviors to expect from someone, if you can't rely on someone, then you can't reliably guess the effect that they're going to have on your life. So if someone, if a girl, for instance, um, is a really, and, and usually this behavior is going to follow from some of these behaviors. If one day she's amazing with you, she's so kind and empathetic and cool, uh, and, and, and just interesting to be around. But then the next time you guys hang out, she's cold. She's aloof. She's bitchy. Everyone has bad days. Totally get that. But when you start seeing her flip flop a lot, um, whatever is going on in her life, you know, we hope that she figures it out and we hope that, you know, she, she solves her problem because everyone deserves to be happy, but you're not responsible for that shit, dude. So don't let people who are having these inconsistent behaviors of very extreme and almost dangerous extremes be in your life. You know, maybe they have an addiction problem. That sucks, right? That's really bad, but that's not your responsibility to fix. And you don't have to stick around and be their friend if they're going to be acting like that. But it's not always, you can't always just excuse shit, right? Some people are responsible for their fucking behaviors. So if someone's being a fucking asshole around you, they're really cool when they're in private, for instance. This is the biggest one is 
environmental consistency. Okay, remember that, environmental consistency. This is huge, 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 huge. You have a guy who, when you're alone with him, totally cool, great guy, or a girl. But when you are in public with them or you're in a group with them, they act like totally different people. Especially if it's a girl and you bring her around, let's say a friend of yours, and she starts treating you like shit for whatever reason, right? Whether it's a girl or a guy. When you see that behavior, first time be like, okay, kind of check a mark in your head. Be like, maybe there's something going on. Try to figure out the variables, what's going on. Then if it starts to happen as a pattern, you might need to, you might need to reevaluate their place in your life. Now this, this goes for men and women, but I would say that the women you have in your life has a bigger impact on you than the men in your life. I would say because when you have a girlfriend, she's usually gonna take first place over everyone. I know a lot of guys are like, no, you know, my bro's coming for my, it doesn't really work out in practice. People like to say things. People like to say a lot of stuff, but does it, it doesn't really reflect itself in reality. So the women who you choose to have around you, um, I would avoid these girls beyond just fucking them. Fuck them, who cares, you know? Uh, be careful with the super crazy ones because they can, you know, burn your house down. Um, but uh, yeah, you need to you need to care beyond just fucking them once or twice. Um, avoid having them around because they're going to slowly drag you to their level, and you don't want to go to a level that you don't deserve to be at, and you deserve to be at a high level. That's why this channel exists, right? That's why we're trying to teach you how to how to get laid and how to have fun and have relationships but we want them to be positive we want them to be healthy we want them to be good with cool hot girls we want beautiful women and a lot of these women are very beautiful but their personalities don't match that so we want to find beautiful women who also have beautiful personalities oh so cheesy yeah i know but i've had a lot of really negative experiences with toxic women because i was thinking with this guy and i uh, wasn't thinking with this guy so use this and this use this to, to fuck them but then evaluate their character afterwards. Um, because a lot of times you don't really know people until you get to know, uh, really get to know them. Um, first impressions are really important and usually are pretty accurate. Um, but uh, you need to give people a few hangouts before you totally understand them. So I would be super careful with once you fuck a girl once or twice, you need to really think what kind of place does she have in my life? And if she isn't significantly contributing to your life, Especially, especially because the more valuable you get and the cooler you get, the more people you're gonna have around you. When you get rid of these people, you're gonna make way for the better people to go in your life. I can promise you this. You can think, oh, I don't know, I've been friends with this person for a long time, or this girl's really cool, or I just really love fucking her, her pussy's so good, whatever thing that is making you stick around. I know, I get it. It's very hard to break away from someone who's fun to be around. Maybe they have a few things wrong with them, but you know, I don't know, besides that, they're pretty cool. I would say that if you get rid of the people who are 90% cool, you'll start to find people who are 95% cool, 96, 97, 98% cool. Because when you make room, when you clean your room, you can put more things in it. Get rid of the junk, throw away the shitty stuff and buy new stuff. Now these people deserve love and respect and happiness, but you're not responsible for them in any way, shape or form. So if they're not contributing to your life and making your life better, fuck them. Yes, get out of here. And so you can get new people in your life. Okay, cool. Awesome. Hector Castillo, Poppy from girlschase.com. Stay away from the toxic people, the toxic women, the toxic pussy, because it's great the first time you fuck it, but then after you come inside of it, you realize there's a green ooze coming out and it's not yours. That was a really disgusting <laughs> image. Oh God, it's supposed to be because they're evil and there's like double juice dripping out of their pussy, but I don't know, that, that's, that would be really fucking disgusting. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna leave now. All right, follow me on social media. Um, ring the bell, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.